Hello and welcome to the Wednesday News Show. I'm Matt Groom. Hello, I'm Hugo Pilcher. Uh, and this is the show where we bring you the news. Lots and lots and lots and lots of news. So, straight into some sport climbing news, and British climber Buster Martin has sent the iconic 9A rain shadow at Malham Cove in the UK. 21-year-old Buster Martin climbed his first 8A at 14, his first 8C at 16, and then took a four-year break from climbing. This route marks his return to form. Buster struggled to find the right conditions to complete his project, but after months of effort, found the perfect day with a little bit of breeze and clipped the chains. So some cool news uh, and a few interesting things. Number one being the popularity of Rain Shadow, because that's the third ascent this year. Um, Indeed. I think it's just, you know, when a route's in vogue and everyone's climbing it and everyone's got the psych for it, I, I think it's just conditions that. Conditions are good. Like a, yeah, well, this is the thing that he had bad conditions because everyone else left Malham. Like, everyone was like, the season's done, it's super sweaty, we're finishing it. And he was like, no, I'm going to stay and complete this project. And he sent it, so that's awesome. Um, but what do you think about this four-year break from climbing? It's kind of cool, that. Yeah, absolutely. I don't really know this guy very well, but... Uh... Four years, that sounds like a long time. It is. And then to return to form, so he had four years off, climbed HC, four years off, and then, and I read in the, the UKC article that he bumped into Ben Moon in the gym and was just doing, like Ben advised him to do laps of the, the bottom section of that route. So he did like 13 in a day mm -hmm. and then felt strong enough to kind of get through it all and then do the crux. So kind awesome. of cool. Nice. Right, over to America now, where Brett Harrington and Karen North have put up a first ascent on the Janelle Glacier in Alaska. This new 500 meter line is on the southeast face of the Southern Duke in Alaska. They waited out a three day storm before climbing the line with difficulties up to M5 plus and 510B, climbing with 85 degree ice and snow. They have dedicated the climb to Mark andre Leclerc, who was Brett's partner, and Ryan Johnson, who were killed in Alaska earlier this year. A very poignant ascent there from Brett Harrington, and um, yeah, just an amazing lady all around. Just also want to give a bit, bit of a shout out to Karen North, who we've interviewed a couple of times in the past after her expeditions to, in the Himalayas. Uh, yeah, so massive respect to those two ladies. Good job. Now, our next piece of news was sent to us by one of our Twitter followers who tagged us in a post and directed us to a Czech website called Irosolas. Rosalas. Sort of. Uh, having used Google Translate on this interview that Adam did with them, he was talking about that his, he wanted to return to Yosemite and try the first ever on-site of El Cap. And he's picked a Salathe wall, uh, pronounce it? Salathe. Salathe wall, yeah. uh, which uh, goes up to about 513B, I think, of the pitches. It's 870 metres long, 35 pitches of climbing. Uh, and I don't think El Cap's ever been on-site before. So this is a big thing that Adam's saying he's going to do. Big and time. It will be interesting to see whether any of this fits into his competition plans because he's going for the world champs this year. We know he's wanting Olympic selection for the Olympics. So just popping over to Yosemite and trying this, well, I mean, why not? Maybe that will help his speed climbing. I mean, if he just wants to do an on-site, then it might not take too long. That's very true, actually, yeah. It could be like a couple of days. Smash it could up. be like up, yeah. falls <laughs> off. Right, um, let's go back. That's how I see, right, yeah. That's true, it could yeah. be. Good luck, Adam Andra. Good luck, Adam Andra. Right, next up, we have got news of a British climber called Ali Smith, who has sent what looks like, uh, from the photo that I've got, an enormous roof uh, route in Kilnsey, which is in North Yorkshire. Yeah, he's been working the route for about three years, or he bolted it back in 2016. Uh, he's been waiting for like optimum um, conditions, and this summer was perfectly dry and meant that he was able to spend a, a significant amount of time on the route working it. Uh, yeah, and he eventually sent it. So good work, Ali. Thanks to climbermagazine.com where we got that story. Where in England are you from? I'm not from England. Scottish. Somewhere. I'm Scottish. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, more news, uh, right. a little snippet of news. Uh, the first female ascent of the Slovak Direct on Denali has been put up. Uh, this was climbed by Chantal Astorga and Anne Gilbert Chase. Not only is it the first female ascent, but it's the ninth ascent full stop. Like, this is a super, super difficult route. Uh, I think it takes two days just to get to the base of it. Um, there's an amazing video with Nick Bullock uh, and uh, who was it, Steve House? Andy Houseman. Andy Houseman. On like, if you haven't seen that, watch it because it just shows how hard this is. So really cool ascent from those ladies. Uh, next up, what are we talking about? We're talking about uh, Dreamcatcher. I just went on Jacopo Larcher uh, and his Instagram, and he is trying Dreamcatcher, which is an iconic 9A in Squamish, uh, which I thought was quite a cool story. So good luck, Jacopo, with that. 9B counter. 9B counter. <laughs> Thank you.
There's no 9Bs. Nothing. There's no potential 9Bs either. Really? I haven't heard of any. That's, I've been doing a lot of research and I can't find anybody doing a 9B. If anybody else knows anyone doing a 9B, if your mates just pop around the corner to do a 9B while he thought he was going out to get some tea, or if you know of any 9Bs being done, let us know. Put it in the comments below. 9Bs, hot to trot. And now it's time for my favourite uh, clothing company. Yeah, Salewa. you said Salewa. I like Salewa. This is sort of a reminder about the Salewa Get Vertical competition. It's a really cool prize. It's basically a free, all expenses, actually I don't know that. It's, fr it's certainly free um, trip. What do uh, you know? I don't know, who knows. But it's alpine climbing, mountaineering. Uh, before I explain more, just watch this teaser. So as you can see, it's a pretty cool competition. All you need to do is take a photo, upload it to the website, and then get all your mates to vote for it, and you could win one of those places. What and, happens if you haven't got any mates? Well, this is my problem, frankly. I don't know, you could buy mates? Could you too rich. Would you vote for me? Yeah, for sure, but ah, it's pity vote Maybe we'll vote for each other, we could both. Uh, to be honest, I'm gonna take a really cool photo and then just everybody will vote for me. Yeah, it's one way. Yeah. We're not actually allowed to enter, so we're not gonna be doing any of that. But you should. Yeah, you should. It's well good. And you can also, uh, there's like an instant prize thing on there as well. So you can just play this online game and win some Salewa gear, which you should do. <laughs> we're not allowed to. But we're not allowed to. No. You have to buy it like everyone else. Yeah, I'll buy Salewa gear. I like it. Got it. Um, we're going to show a little teaser of a Climbing Daily episode now because we had this amazing time in Marseille. Uh, last week we put out the qualification video, which I entered. And now it's time for the finals video, which the lady behind the camera has done a brilliant job editing. So here's the Urban Elements finals highlight teaser thing. Nice one. Big up yourself, Laura Bowles. At Laura Bowles at, on Instagram. Wait, wait, she's not on Instagram. That's, I don't think she is. She's no. not on Instagram. No. She is! She is on Instagram. What's is it her, weird that handle? we're telling people to stalk Laura on Instagram? Maybe she's private. She doesn't want to let's, not, let's not go any further with this. Okay, it's not at Laura Bowles on Instagram. It's yeah. definitely not. It's Macroom at... one. <laughs> anyway, um, we've got some funky new edits coming out of all the new gear from Outdoor on EpicTV.com at the moment. So we're kind of putting them out like once or twice a day, but that's ba it's basically all the like the best <laughs> things. It's a lot of edits. It's all the best. Well, we kind of have been doing it, but we, it's basically it's all the best edits, uh, all the best stuff that we found at Outdoor uh, from all the biggest brands. Um, so check it out. It's coming out on EpicTV.com or the YouTube channel as well. Link in the description if you want to watch them. Exactly. Uh, shop sales, we should talk about this because the summer sale has launched. Yes. It's massive, it's huge. It's in the atmosphere. Yeah, it's uh, you can get up to 50% off on gear 50%. and clothes. Up, up, up to on certain products. Yeah, um, not all 50%. Not all, that'd be ridiculous. It's not store-wide that store, store 50%. No. That'd be a closing down sale. Yeah, we'd be done by then. Um, but all you need to do is go to the website, it's probably on screen as I'm talking, and you click on the sale button or you click on the button in the carousel. It sends you straight there and it's super easy to find a bargain. But 
these bargains, they go. Like it's not like we're constantly re-updating them. So if you see something that's 50% off and you think about it, so and then it goes. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Once in a sale opportunity. Okay, that's good, <laughs> that'll do. What are you up to this week? Buying stuff on the Epic TV sale. Apart from buying stuff, because I am off to London. So that's, that was a loaded question, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, was it? Go on, what, you're, what are you doing in London? Uh, I am filming with Louis Parkinson. So right. we're doing training series for Epic TV. We're going to do gym tour stuff. Um, we're going to hang out with Louis. So if you're near the Vauxhall gym in Vauxhall, London, you fancy coming to say hello, then please do. For anyone who doesn't know who Louis Parkinson is, who Parkinson is, who is Louis Parkinson? He is the strongest arguably climber in the UK. Uh, he just like jumps around everywhere, very dynamic. Yeah. Um, his shoulders like this. Mm -hmm. Very uh, nice man. A very nice man. A little bit crazy. What? He, he's, a little, he's not. He's a little bit crazy. He's very, very cool. He's crazy. Uh, so yeah, come and say hello if you're in London. Absolutely. Really? Well, yeah, bring food. You were hoping for like a kind of Casey Neistat hang outside oh the, the Vauxhall thing where yeah. people go. It could be Give a cute, you can make a line. My like groom. A, like a, yeah. Can I be in your vlog? If you want to do that. It's getting weird. Am I in the vlog? Uh, anyway, that's it. That is it. Let's let's get out while we're still got any kind of self-respect. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs>